<sighs> Do you remember the good old days when Kevin Smith made good movies? Ah, how I miss those days. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie Yoga Hosers. That's my Canadian accent. I'm Canadian, I can't even do a good Canadian accent. But anyways, yes, yes, the movie Yoga Hosers. This movie stars Johnny Depp and Kevin Smith's daughters, Lil Lily Rose Depp and Harley Quinn Smith. Awesome name, by the way. And also co-stars Kevin Smith, Johnny Depp, Adam Brody, Justin Long, and Haley Joel Osment. Great actors in there. And yeah, this movie's written and directed by... Kevin Smith, and this is like part of his unofficial Canadian movie trilogy things, I don't know. He's making these weird Canadian movies now, Kevin Smith, and he did the movie Tusk a couple years ago, that movie was crap, and now he's got Yoga Hosers, and a couple years from now, I think he's doing a movie called Moose Jaws or something, I don't fucking know, but yes, we got the movie Yoga Hosers, which is about these young girls, both named Colleen, and they work at this convenience store, and you you know, they're not part of the cool kids and stuff, and yeah, basically something end-of-the-world-ish starts to happen. All these monsters are attacking the city and stuff, and it's up to these two girls to find this guy to help them out and save save the country and shit like that. This is basically, this movie is basically just a stupid B-movie, monster movie, action comedy, I guess, sort of movie. Who cares? This movie's awful. This movie, Yoga Hosers is undeniably stupid. I know that's exactly what it was going for. It was trying to be this, this stupid B-movie, monster movie kind of thing. It's supposed to be ridiculous, but also very funny. It's none of those things. This movie isn't funny. This movie wasn't interesting, and it just doesn't feel like Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith. I really do. I love watching his podcast with Mark Bernardi, the fat man on Batman. He's great. He's a funny guy. I've read a lot of his comic books. I love his movies. Kevin Smith has made such great movies like Clark's, Clark's 2, Chasing Amy, Mallrats, Dogma. I even like Zack and Miri make a porno. Even Red State has its moments, but I don't know what he's been doing lately. He's doing these Canadian films, and I know I'm Canadian. I shouldn't be insulting. I'd be like, oh yeah, go Canada but they suck. All these movies just are terrible. Tusk was a horrible movie, but this movie, Yoga Hosers, is even worse than Tusk. And yeah, that's hard to do. It's not worse than Cop Out. That's the worst Kevin Smith movie ever. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but this movie, Yoga Hosers, is so unwatchable. These actresses, I, I get Johnny Depp and Kevin Smith are trying to make, trying to make their daughters get into movies and, you know, be actresses. They're not that great in this movie. They don't really have chemistry, and I heard they're friends in real life. That's cool, but they they weren't interesting, and they didn't really give good performances. Johnny Depp is a little bit in the movie. He's not good. Kevin Smith, he's not good. Justin Long, Haley Joel Osment, all terrible in this movie. Everyone is awful. The comedy just falls apart. There's nothing funny or remotely interesting or remotely creative or passionate about this movie. I heard they actually ran out of money in the middle of the in the middle of the shoot of this movie and you got it tells the production looks like crap. It looks cheap looking. It's very amateur filmmaking with this movie and it's Kevin Smith. He's not an amateur anymore. Like, Clark's was a great movie because it's all in one location. And yes, it looks cheap looking, but at least it's well written, well directed, and he's actually well acted and actually very funny. This movie is none of that. I don't care if the movie looks cheap. As long as, as long as it has good characters, good jokes, good storytelling, I don't care if the, I don't care if the movie's cheap looking. But it has none of that. It's not funny. It's not creative. It's not. There's no passion put into this movie. It's not well acted. It's not well executed. It's not well structured. It's horribly edited. Nothing about this movie works. So for it to be cheap looking is just an even bigger minus to this minus of a movie. Yo Gozers is absolute crap. I'm actually tired of talking about it already. So that's all I'm going to say about Yoga Hosers. Yoga Hosers. And yeah, I, it's just such a disappointment. I was just at Fan Expo and I just met him and Jason Mewes. They're great guys. I love Jason Mewes. I love Kevin Smith. Jason Mewes is it's a small role in this movie. It's just like rogue cop and stuff. But I really didn't like this movie just because 
I'm a Kevin Smith fan doesn't mean I'm going to like everything he does. I can't like this movie just because Kevin Smith directed it. I can't. That's not a fair thing to do. I am a movie reviewer. I have to give my honest opinions. And my honest opinion about Yoga Hoser is that it's a crappy movie. I hated this movie. I hated watching it. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the story. I didn't like how it was executed. And I thought it was just so unfunny. And for Kevin Smith to be unfunny is quite shocking because he's a because he's a really funny guy. Like I actually meet him in person. He's hilarious. So yeah, Yoga Hosers is absolute crap. I hated this movie. I would definitely never recommend this movie. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the movie Yoga Hosers a 2.9 out of 10. So yeah, please don't ever see this movie. Who are we kidding? Who's going to see this movie? But don't see it. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Yoga Hosers. So yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me what is your favorite Kevin Smith movie. My favorite is Chasing Amy. But what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, latest video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.